Hi and welcome to the 12th part of this tutorial series. So last video we did some timer stuff and our game is still the same like what was before. Uh, this video we will add some animation. But first uh, we go to the sprite class and here we have this vector2 structure. Well, uh, let's make some uh, nice ve vector functions to go with it. So add a new file, a .cpp file and then .h file. I'll use the class template and name it vector vector2 and create. So now uh, take the structure from the sprite class, delete it, uh, and paste it into Yeah, and paste it into the vector2.h file and include in the vector2.h file the gl slash glfw.h. Okay, now let's create two functions one to make a vector and the other one to add two vectors. To, to do that, yeah, just type vector2 make vector2 and we'll take two arguments both gl float uh, just call this first and then gl float second and the other one will be vector2 add vector vector2 and again gl float actually Sorry, vector two first and gl float second. And we actually change this to y and x. It's more appropriate that way. Okay, now let's implement these functions. So your .cpp file. Pretty straightforward, as you can imagine. Okay, so so just vector two new vector oh damn it new vector new vector dot x equals x and new vector dot y equals y and return new vector. Okay, and then the second function. Um, let's call this new vector. Sorry, vector two, new vector again, and new vector. Dot, yeah, new vector dot x equals uh, first dot x plus second dot x and new vector dot y equals first dot y sorry dot y plus second dot y and return new vector. And why is this wrong? I have no idea. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. Vector 2. Yeah, sorry. So, change this to vector 2. Okay, that was some pretty straightforward stuff. Now, return to your sprite class. And yeah, so don't forget to include include the uh, vector two not the H stuff. And now um so basically we need a new variable called velocity. 
So let's create that and it will be also a vector two and name this velocity. Now, and also make the, the setter and better. So void set velocity. That will take one argument, it will take a vector two. New vector. And, and vector to get velocity. Make no arguments, let's implement those two. Again, pretty straightforward stuff. So, oh damn it. So just return, oh no, sorry, sorry. Um, so velocity, yeah, velocity, oh damn. Sorry, I thought of something quite important. Uh, sprite, okay, now, velocity equals new velocity, or new vector. Similar. And then return velocity. Okay. So that does that. Now, um, in your update method of your sprite class, do the following. So position equals, now do add vector2 and add position plus velocity, sorry, velocity. Now, what this will do every time our sprite updates, this will add the value of the velocity to the, uh, to the position. So basically, uh, go to the game window class, and here we create a new rocket and now let's add something to that rocket so uh, rocket dot rocket dot set velocity and just type make vector 2 and let's do like 0 0 and do like 0 0 1 f and 0, 1, f on the y, too. Oh, damn it. Yeah, okay. And now go to the update. And here type rocket update. Okay, so if you run this, you can see the rocket is moving very, very slightly. Um, if you want to find this, do let's see like five. It will run much faster. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you can see it. It's moving quite smoothly. Um, if we change the y, for example, to zero, it will only move horizontally. So yeah, yeah, you can play around with this. Um, if you Make the value like two to like zoom away. Yeah, it's quite fast. Okay, so that was it. Um, next video we will yeah we'll see. So see you then. Bye.